All right, all right. Well, today's project is just a lawnmower this time. and uh, But it's one I haven't worked on in a long time. It's a Toro with a Tecumseh engine on it. And um, used to see them around for a while. And, of course, we all know Tecumseh went out a long time ago. And you can still get the parts. You can still get, you know, carburetors and stuff like that. Um, I just have not seen one in a while. This one actually looks like it's been sitting around, but overall it looks okay. But, uh, well, let's take a look at it. Yeah, so this one, I mean, it could use a cleanup and everything, but, you know, the cables are good. They're good and tight. Um, looks like the front wheel drives, the, the wheels are good. The front wheel drive seems to engage. I mean, everything was okay. Now, I'd already started to, to look at this and decided I ought to film it, but uh, you can see I'd taken this off. Now, and I took the, the air cleaner off, which definitely looks like it needs another one, a new one. I sprayed carb cleaner directly down the, uh, through the carburetor and see if it would crank over and no go. And from there, I took the spark plug off. It looks pretty new. It doesn't look like it's ever been fired off. Kind of tells the tale, right? Let me see if I can't get that off. Yeah. champion eco clean but look at that I mean it looks just about new uh, so I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, check for spark right I'll just hand tighten that so I can check for spark um, what else And I check the oil. There's definitely oil in it. it. Looks like a tiny bit too much, but not bad. Let's get all that out of the way. And the gas is bone dry. But like I said, I I sprayed carb cleaner directly through and uh, did not want to turn over. And it feels like there is compression in it, so. So let's check for spark. Yeah, so I always have a hard time hooking up my little spark plug tester and then sitting back here and pull it. I never can see over here. Never can see the spark. See if I can see it from there. Yeah, I can't see it. Let me get a close up on the camera. back and watch what I just recorded and see if I can see a spark. So tell me now if you saw it. Alright, I couldn't see any spark. But I am going to try one more thing. Because it still seems kind of dry. I was trying to pump some uh, carburetor cleaner fluid through there but maybe it's not getting there so 
I am going to shoot a little gas directly in it and see if it'll turn over. Let's try that. Okay, I don't think there's any spark. So Guess I'll have to take all this off, take the little cover off, take the gas tank off. Um, I'll be able to check here because the little cutoff is, is way up under here. But uh, I'll check that and make sure that it's just not shorting out the whole time. Um, and then check the magneto also. Looks like somebody's been under here. One of the one of the bolts is gone. This feels like it needs a little WD-40 on it. I tell when I was pulling it. I'll get that later. So I can check the uh, magneto real quick. It's kind of fluctuating all over the place, to tell you the truth. Somewhere to four, 14 to 15 mega ohms. Secondary coil. If I can get this in here, there we go. Two point nine six. So I need to look and see if that is within spec. clamp the handle down and make sure this isn't shorting here. All right, I clamped down the handle there. Yeah, okay. It wasn't shorting out. So let me check the spec on this magneto. Maybe it's just out. So I checked. I couldn't find any specs for the magneto. Uh, but before I order a new one, um, I'm going to switch spark plugs and see what happens. If I still don't get any spark, then uh, then I'll go ahead and order the the magneto, just because I know I know it's not shorting out, so it should be starting. I just went in and put everything back on. I'm going to try a new spark plug. Um, if that doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and order a oh, new magneto. I'm 
but I'll have to put this aside for a day or two while I wait for that to come in. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, nothing. All right, I'll come back and tune back in when the new uh, magneto gets here. All right, the new magneto came in. So let's take a quick look at it and we'll uh, replace this joker. Let's see if it's going on yep, that way. It looks a little different, but all the mounting looks the same. Yeah. All right, well. Let's replace it and see if we get spark. Let's get this uh, gapped off properly. There we go. And a little kit I ordered did come with another spark plug. A new spark plug and a new filter. So that'll come in handy. Let's uh, let's swap these out. And uh, we'll put all this back together. And see if it'll crank. Alright, so I'm going to spray some carb cleaner down into the throat of the carburetor. Took the straw with it. Let's see if it'll crank over. Yes, sir. There we go. We are now getting spark, so I'm going to put uh, some gas in the tank, and hopefully the carburetor is okay. I did not touch the carburetor yet, so uh, let's put some gas in it and see if it'll run. I wouldn't be surprised if I have to clean the carburetor. No telling how long it's just been sitting around. You can tell I've already cleaned up a little bit. It looks better already. carburetor all right so you can see I'm getting to the carburetor here this is uh, the old Tecumseh model you can see there's a bolt here and a bolt on the other side for a long time I used to always just take the carburetor off right here and leave that intake manifold off 
and back here was just the hardest thing just a pain in the butt to get out and lately you can see I'm just trying to I'm just going to go and take the muffler off and then take the intake and the carburetor out as one unit you know <laughs> and it makes life a little easier all right so so now it's much easier to get to this and separate the carburetor from the intake It still looks good. That's good. See what it looks like inside. Yeah, man, that sucker's on there. Boy, that sucker was tight. It's not a good sign. I'll bet there's going to be a lot of crap in there. Whew. Not bad. Just some old gas. Whew, stinks. But that's good. The gasket looks good. There's not a lot of sediment at the bottom there. So I think we can clean this one off and uh, end up with a good carburetor. What do you think? wasn't bad. Everything seems to be pretty clear. Just spraying it down. All right. Well, that was surprising. How does this piece look? Maybe that was the piece that was uh, keeping it from firing. We'll clean this out. There we go. I heard a dog and my neighbors I've never heard a dog over there before I wonder if they got a new one or if they're taking care of somebody else's so I'll put it back on the exact opposite of taking it off of course and uh, let's see if she'll start We've got the carburetor clean. I haven't put the air filter back on yet. Got gas in it. it has oil. And we know we have spark. Let's see if this sucker will crank over. Just that. Let me clamp down the little starter handle.
All right, all right, I think that's got it. So the carburetor was an easy clean. I took it apart and it really wasn't that bad, just one little needle valves, uh, just cleaned it off. Um, the spark issue, you can see how I troubleshooted that. I just first made sure that the, uh, what is it, your control cable, you know, the handle on there, make sure that it wasn't already shorting out the magneto. Uh, made sure that was working properly. I tried two different spark plugs uh, and nothing and then I took a reading uh, the resistance level on the magneto and although I didn't find the exact specification for that magneto it just looked to be higher than than usual from what I'm seeing and the higher the resistance then the, the less spark you're gonna have right and sometimes not at all in this case so we replaced the magneto and uh, and that was it, right? Just gave it a good cleanup and it's ready to go. So, well, I guess that's it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.